Good morning. Let us now all please stand and uh, turn to one another to welcome each other on this morning, on this Thursday, as we celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of Lourdes. And on this memorial, we remember to pray for all those who are sick, who are suffering with any infirmities of body, of mind, or of spirit, that they might experience the healing grace of our Lord Jesus Christ through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary. And our opening hymn for today's Mass is Sing of Mary. Sing of Mary, pure and lowly, Virgin Mother undefiled, Sing of God's own Son most holy, who became her little child. Fairest child of fairest mother, God the Lord who came to earth, word made flesh our very brother, Takes our nature by his birth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In this Mass, may Our Lady of Lords cover us under her mantle of grace, intercede for us, and draw us ever closer to her Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. To prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we now call to mind our sins also calling to mind the mercy and pardon and peace of our God. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Kyrie Eleison. Kyrie Eleison. You, you, you heal us through the intercession of your mother, Christe eleison. Your glory has been revealed for us. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Immaculate Mother of God may with the help of her intercession rise up from our iniquities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her. Exult, exult with her, all you who were mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck folly of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings you shall be carried in her arms, and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice and your bodies flourish like the grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The word of the Lord. Be to God. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. Blessed are you, daughter, by the Most High God, above all the women on earth, and blessed be the Lord God, the creator of heaven and earth. 
You are the highest honor of our race. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. You, you are, are the highest, highest honor of our race. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does this concern, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told them, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, draw, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine without knowing where it came from, Although they who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves good wine first, then when the people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs at Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Once again, for those who are just arriving, Today we are choosing to celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of Lourdes. I've never been to Lourdes personally, but I know many people have. How many people here have been to Lourdes before? Yeah, a, fair, a fair number. A lot of people, actually. Wow, I'm surprised. Wow. Um, I know that it's such a, a popular pilgrimage site for so many people around the whole world. I've seen videos of the beautiful candlelight processions that happen in the dark. I've seen the pictures of people hanging up their crutches and with the rows and rows of crutches of people after being healed. I've heard stories of people's own healing experience, including people from our own parish who experienced the healing when going to Lourdes. In my family, I don't know if you guys have this, but my parents would keep this big jug of water from Lourdes. And they'd pour it into these little plastic containers and little figurines of Our Lady of Lourdes to give to people. And finally, in my own seminary, we had a, a replica of Our Lady of Lords, her image, the grotto, and everything that I would spend a lot of time praying at. And so it's such a beautiful, a big, a powerful devotion that we have as a church. At Lourdes, Mary revealed to us her name. She said, I am the Immaculate Conception. That is to say, I am she who is full of grace. There is nothing that separates me from the grace and union with God. No taint of sin, no separation, nothing. I'm in perfect union with God. That's why for us, as her spiritual children, she's such a powerful intercessor. She, better than anybody else, greater than even any saint, has the power to make us into perfect disciples of Jesus Christ. 
people who too are full of grace, without separation, without any taint of sin in our lives. You know, besides making a pilgrimage to a popular shrine like Lourdes, one of the most powerful ways that we can draw close to Mary, of course, is the rosary. Uh, many of us carry rosaries in our cars, like in the rear view mirror. Another option is carrying the rosary in our pockets or our purses. This is where I keep mine. I always keep my rosary inside my pocket. I started doing this uh, at the uh, suggestion of someone while I was still in the seminary. And to even pray the rosary frequently, even daily. And if for someone who's working, who's busy during the day, and doesn't have time to pray the whole rosary in one sitting, you can even pray it in little chunks, little increments. This is what Pope John Paul II used to do. That during the day he was so busy with audiences, meetings, writings, and all these kinds of things, he would break up the rosary in one decade here, another decade there. While he had a little break, he'd pray a decade here until he'd finish the whole rosary. And the rosary has such power to make us into spiritual sons and daughters of Mary and better disciples of Jesus Christ. And so today, on this memorial of Our Lady of Lourdes, we ask for her prayers, for her intercession, that she might show herself to us as a mother, that she might give us the healing grace of her son, and that she might draw us daily ever closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. God of mystery, you are close to us, and you know what disturbs us. In union with Mary, our Lady of Lords, the mother of your Son and our mother, we call upon you. Our response, Lord, we place our hope in you. Lord, we place our hope in you. That the Pope, the bishops, priests, and religious may be faithful to their commitment to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our hope in you. That believers may strengthen their trust and confidence in your help, and they may be ready to obey your will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our hope in you. That those who are tormented by hidden pain may bear their crosses bravely when no immediate relief is available. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our hope in you. That the sick may find healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our hope in you. That our departed relatives and friends may finally receive their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our hope in you. The intentions of this Mass are offered for the Camus family, the Pernia family, and the Cortes family. We also offer up uh, these intentions that have been submitted to us for prayer for June Otomias, for Bad Mova, in thanksgiving for Luming Palacio, Mary Alice and Tony Valdez on their 59th anniversary, for the Castro and Mesa family. We pray for the health of Brian Rendon, Patrick Desmond, Vic Barrientos, Suzeth Mactoto, Miss Mata, Marilu Caraniwan, and Ernesto Dignasan. And finally, we pray for the eternal repose of Juan Carlos Contreras on the anniversary of his birthday, for Hernani Dignasan, James De Leoncio, Torante Mangalan, Jose and Presentacion Pernia, Catalina Perez Gonzalez, Serafin Arrevalo, Edgar Cortez, Delia Rodriguez, Ernestina Gomez, Enel Manabat, and Edward Sanchez. And in a moment of silence, we offer to the Lord the prayers and intentions of our own hearts, as well as those placed in our Ark of Prayer chest.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we, we place, place our, our hope in you. in you. Lord, through the intercession of Our Lady of Lords, help us that we may be ready to entrust our lives to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the, from the fullness of your grace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends you have done great things, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we... Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis uncelli et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venis in nomine domini, hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and that really his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, ascended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. History of faith, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, all the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all their faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the whole, Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserat en hobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserat en hobis. On you stay, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the communion antiphon, all generations will call me blessed, for God has looked on his lowly servant. We now join in prayer with everyone praying with us online, as we say, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we come to you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Now on this memorial of Our Lady of Lords, we turn now to Mary, our mother, and we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And now to Saint Joseph we pray. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. And finally to St. Michael. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls, Amen. <clears throat> and uh, as a last thing, the results of our voting are in <clears throat> from yesterday on whether or not we'll have mass outside or go back inside. So for at the 6 a.m. mass, this mass, there were 35 who voted for outside and 18 for inside. So 6 a.m. will continue outside. Uh, for the 8 a.m. mass, it was 41 outside and 14 inside. So also outside. And then the last one was uh, holy hour in the evenings, 18 outside and 9 inside. So it looks like everything will be continuing outdoors for as far as we can tell. So thank you for voting and uh, continue to pray with each other. A beautiful pavilion as she's celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with you. May Almighty God <clears throat> bless you and all of your loved ones, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is Immaculate Mary. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in heaven. With Jesus our King, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. In heaven, the blessed, your glory proclaim. On earth we, your children, invoke your sweet name. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. Thank you for joining us in prayer today. May God bless you. May Mary keep us under her motherly mantle. God bless.